What's going on guys, it's Shing here. In today's episode, we'll be installing LRB Speeds Battery Tray Relocation Kit as well as these Quarter Panel Delete Kits. So you guys are probably all familiar with LRB Speed at this point. They make these sweet panels for your doors, dash, interior, exterior, for your Mazdas, Nissans, Toyotas, whatever you may need, they got you covered. I've also installed in the past the window defrost vent that LRB also makes. LRB Speed's products are just so precisely cut and it fits nicely in every application. I've never had any installation issues with any of their products and uh, it's functional, it's saving you weight while it looks nice and it's actually pretty cheap as well compared to some other guys that's making stuff like door carts. So check them out. I'm also going to put a coupon code in the video description below so you can save yourself like 10-15% when you're purchasing any from anything from LRB Speed. I just love supporting shops and guys like London from LRB Speed. These are just, you know, guys like us who are passionate about cars, making quality, affordable, functional parts for the car community. I just love supporting guys like London. Uh, and then I wouldn't be promoting him if I didn't like their products. As you can see, I'm running it all over my car. But that's enough talking. I'm gonna get right into installing these beautiful panels in the race car. All right, so in today's video, I'll be installing the battery tray as well as the quarter panel delete systems. Now, these are actually part of rear seat delete kits. Now, because I have half cage in the back with AccuSump in the center with like fire extinguishers and whatnot, uh, I cannot run the full rear seat delete kit, which I would love to. And uh, I've seen them installed in FDs and it looks nice. But in my case, because of this cage and because of what's going on in here, I'm just going to run these coral panel deletes. So, you know, I don't have an interior piece there anyways, and it's exposed right now. So what I'm gonna do is just fill that in this LRB Speed's quarter panel delete kit so it's nice and looking finished. And down here is where the battery relocation kit is going to be placed. Before I just had battery just sitting here without a strap on which was unsafe. It doesn't meet any regulations and safety standards. So I'm gonna be draining in couple rivet nuts in here and then mounting the LRB Speed's battery tray. I might have a little interference here with the roll gauge. We'll find out if that's that's the case, I'll just trim the battery tray a little bit, but uh, we'll figure that out. I'm gonna go ahead and install the real quarter panels first and see how everything looks. So this is about the third time I'm installing LRB Speed's product in my car. And I mean, look at the instructions. They're always so clear when it comes to instructions and what parts should go where. I mean, look at these steps. It's just a quarter panel going into the car and there's two page paper explaining in four different steps or six different steps what should take place. So what I had to do is install these plastic tabs into the chassis and then I'll be using these as the threads for these screws to mount the panel. It shouldn't be hard, it will probably take like 10 minutes to install this, we'll see. All right guys, so plastic tabs are installed super easy. You just pop them into holes that are square. There's six of them. Next up, I'm gonna remove the gas strap bar that holds the rear hatch in place so I can mount the panel in there and start bolting everything down. Now I've got the panel inside the car. I'm going to test fit it right here and start bolting everything in. It's a little tight here, so I'm just gonna do a time lapse for you guys. Some things to consider is the, if you have a sunroof car, Make sure you have your sunroof drain hose arranged the way you want it to be before you pop this open. I actually replaced this sunroof drain hose with aftermarket 3 8 inch hose that drains down my side skirt. If you have a stock seat belt, you have to ask for a stock seat belt version of the trim because you will have seat belts coming out of the panel on the side. On my FD, of course it's a race car, so I have harnesses coming out 
getting attached to the roll cage here so I don't have a hole for that for cleaning installation All right guys, and the rear quarter panels have been installed. The fitment is great. It looks awesome, functional, and the uh, installation was super easy. It took me like probably 10 minutes per side to install it, and that was me taking my time. Um, if you have seat belts, there will be a hole here somewhere for the seat belt so that you can mount the stock seat belts. Like I said, I have the harness here, so I'm not worried about that. It's just a full panel, no holes. It looks nice and clean obviously if you're installing the complete rear seat delete panel kit you look even more finished because there is going to be a panel here another panel here another one going here in the back area as well but uh yeah even with the rear quarters it looks beautiful the car looks way more finished and i like that it has the sunroof drain hose inside here uh which is my custom design but Overall, extremely happy with it. Everything fit nicely. No problems whatsoever. These things are cut to precision. So what I'm gonna do next is uh, install this battery tray. Uh, pretty simple again. All you have to do is pop it in here, drill some holes, and then install rivet nuts, which came in the kit as well. Mocking this thing up in my chassis, I might have to chop off this lip here, this leg, because I had to put another bolt in the cage to secure that and that is way more, more uh, important than securing the battery in place but to be honest with one two three four five six rib nuts in place this thing's gonna be super secure it's not gonna go anywhere but I'm gonna cut this off so I can put a bolt in and let me show you the kit that you get when you order from LBSP so you get all these rib nuts which is nice uh, you get the bolts that's supporting the tray uh, by securing it into the rev nuts, you get a couple of washers, of course the post to secure the battery post in place, a um, couple of nuts, washers, and he even includes the rev nut installation kit. Uh, I'll show you the one I use. So this is the rev nut kit I have always used. You can get different versions, you can get one that's manual, but I like this one because all you have to do is just hook it in into the drill and you just drill into it. I mean, you make the holes first, put the rivet nut in, and then what this does as you spin the end with the drill is that this would contract, and I'll show you that when I'm installing the rivet nuts, but uh, this is a lot easier because you don't have to manually crank on the thing. So up here is adjustments for different nut sizes. So I got anything from like M3s to six. Uh, I have standard unit attachments as well which I never use but Landon was kind enough to include the uh, I believe M6 rivet nut attachment as well so if you have the tool but not the adapter don't worry about it because this is included in the kit as well which is very nice all right so first thing I'm gonna do is just, like I said I'm just gonna cut this off real quick and see if it fits All right, guys, the uh, leg has been chopped off, and I was actually reading the instruction, and he said that you should put a spacer between the plate and the chassis. Uh, it's a part I missed, and it came in the kit, this spacer. So, although the spacer is a little thicker than the road cage foot itself, it does give a little bit of gap, which raises the tray upwards, which is the way it should be installed. So, actually, this might work out uh, pretty well. So next up, I'm just gonna mark up the holes I'm gonna drill. And then on top of that, I'm gonna start punching centers so that I can drill the center of these holes. So just like that. I'm gonna do that around the tray, drill some holes, put in rivet nuts, and the tray should be installed.
All right, guys, the battery tray is installed. These holes you just uh, is not on top, but not on the bottom, and that's it. For me, I'm probably going with like an Optima yellow battery pack. So I just pulled off the dimensions of the website, which is about seven inches wide. So I just measured seven inches and made it the width accordingly but you can obviously adjust it in and out if you have like a small odyssey battery pack you can do so by just narrowing out these posts together overall install looks awesome it's so stable this is going nowhere uh the panels look good everything looks good and that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed the installation video overall pretty simple i probably spent about an hour installing the both the panels and the battery tray it looks awesome it's functional check out arb speed if you're interested in buying anything like this for your any of your cars you know he has fds he has fc's he has uh miatas 240sx lexus whatever so go check out arb speed check out what they have and use a coupon code in the video description below to save yourself some cash see you guys